Hello and thank you for joining me on another skincare video. My name is Hannah Kanji, I'm a skin specialist based down in South Wales and I have my own clinic practice here. We are a stockist of Nimue and I'm an educator for them also, but today is going to be a video that isn't actually skincare related. It's more about an advanced procedure that I offer here in the clinic called Advanced Electrolysis. And you can see the machine actually behind me here, which we'll look at a little bit later. So advanced electrolysis. I think a lot of people have heard of electrolysis in terms of hair removal. I'll just point to my face there, but obviously it can be done anywhere in the body. Um, I personally don't offer that, although this machine would do it. Um, but the electrolysis machine technology can also be used to treat certain blemishes. So I'm going to put a few things up onto the screen here now for you to see, because sometimes the names can get a little bit confusing. So skin tags would be... Uh, the first thing, and that's a popular thing that I get asked to remove quite a bit, and advanced electrolysis can treat that. So the skin tags are just little um, benign growths, if you like, completely harmless. Um, nobody really knows why they're caused. There's a, there's a school of thought that thinks they may be viral, but they're usually found in folds of skin, like armpit, groin, um, sometimes around the neck where a necklace can rub, or um, like straps, for example. So... Skin tag removal, I'd say, is probably the most popular, um, but it can also be used, the machine can also be used to treat things like moles. You can actually reduce moles with them. Um, some companies will require GP consent for this. My insurance company require this, just to check that the mole is actually benign. But other practitioners may be able to offer mole re reduction without having to uh, have a GP referral. Seborrheic keratosis, so again you've got the picture here, they look a bit like a mole but they're actually a lot harder, so they feel quite crusty at the top, almost like you could pick it off, but you can't, <laughs> and so the electrolysis needle can actually um, remove these quite easily. Milia spots, so some people call them milk spots, um, no, again nobody really knows why these are caused but they are just benign little cysts of keratin, um, so dead skin cell build up like under the skin. We've got thread veins, so this thing is the big one because thread veins can be removed by laser, but what you'll find is you'll get some residue left over and the needle on the electrolysis machine is so accurate it will actually just grab um, any residual veins, so it's good for targeting specific areas, um, or you can do quite a large area, so it's quite versatile. So thread veins up to about 0.2 mil millimetre wide it can treat. You've also got the ability to remove something called a sebaceous hyperplasia. So they look like a little donut shape. They can be confused with milia sometimes because they tend to appear on foreheads and cheeks. They tend to increase with age as well. Again, totally benign thing um, caused by blockage in the sebaceous gland. And not, nobody really knows why uh, these things happen. It can be hormonal. It can be sun damage in some clients as well. Something called cherry angiomas you can remove as well. So they're like little red um, dots or freckling they look like. When you look at them closely, they're actually like almost like burst blood vessels um, under the skin. Some people call them blood blisters. So flat ones are very easy to remove with advanced electrolysis. Usually only one session is needed. However, for um, the raised ones, they'll just tend to shrink and you can just keep retreating per session then. Also things like xanthelasma, like so cholesterol deposits around the eye, plus lots and lots and lots more. Uh, probably too much that I can even go through. Um, things like warts, verrucas, for example, although I tend not to do so much wart and verruca work because I find that other methods tend to work a little bit better than this. So I tend to refer clients on to somebody who offers cryotherapy or freezing treatment then. So let's have a little look at the machine a little bit more closer. So this is my machine. And as you can see, it's a bit battered and bruised, but the good news is that the technology hasn't really moved on um, because we know it works. Uh, so replacing this machine tomorrow would look nigh on identical to this. It would just look a bit cleaner. <laughs> uh, as you can see, there's been you know, pat testing stickers and whatnot attached to this over the years. Uh, there's only the one um, setting on this, if you like. So it's just thermolysis this machine offers. So you just increase or decrease the electric current basically with the buttons here. So that's all this one does. That's all it needs to do because you could offer hair removal with this. I mean, I personally don't, which is why I've gone for this machine. I offer the advanced electrolysis, which only requires thermolysis. But if you looked at Sterex machines, you'd see other ones with other functions, like a bigger panel, different buttons, because they offer other things, um, which would assist you more with the hair removal side of things. 
but as I said, because I don't offer hair removal, just the firm autosis is what's needed. So it's quite a basic machine, but it does what it says on the tin. There are other brands out there. Sterex are quite a well-known one. Um, the only one I'd say that would probably outshine this, because Sterex are very well-known and they also make their own needles as well. Um, the only one that I'd say would probably outshine this would be the Apolis machine, um, which is just a little bit better for client comfort by all accounts. So what would happen is you'd stick a very, very fine needle about a centimetre long in the top of this, um, almost like a pen looking device, and then select which setting you want, um, and then pop the needle onto the area you're trying to treat and, and you press down. Um, there are other machines that will have a foot switch instead of a finger switch if you're doing something that involves a lot of pressing and you've got, I don't know, white finger, for example, because obviously a lot of us beauticians and therapists get repetitive strain in our hands, as I well know. Um, so a foot pedal can be useful. Um, but basically that that is uh, that is the machine. It's that simple, guys, but obviously this one's well used and loved. Um, and yeah, the technology from Sterex is um, very, very, very reliable and very safe. So let's have a little look at the machine in action. So I've got a little video of me performing some thread vein work. As you can see, just pop the needle in. It's not a pleasant experience or a pleasant sensation for the client, but obviously the results are worth it. The veins as well may go slightly more red post-treatment, which is normal. That can usually stick around for a couple of days, uh, but in some people it can be a couple of weeks. So it's just worth bearing in mind that there will be a bit of downtime with the thread vein removal. So most people can have treatment done. Um, moles and xanthalasma under the eyes require a GP referral. So usually I just send a template email out to clients for them to forward onto their GP to get that letter of referral, uh, which usually needs to be paid for. And obviously the price will vary depending on your general practice. Certain medical conditions can't be treated like diabetes, anything to do with blood thinning medications or anything that involves poor healing of the skin. Aftercare wise you will have a wound because the machine is actually going to cut off the blood supply by cauterizing blood vessels so any raised tissue like a skin tag for example is going to start to form a crest and almost die off um, and it's important not to pick that crest that blemish will then fall off in a few days. You may be left with a smaller blemish underneath but obviously that's what can then be retreated. And all of these were achieved majority in, in just one session. So it's a very, very effective machine. Um, I am licensed by my local authority. If you aren't local to me and you want to get this treatment done, you're looking for advanced electrolysis or diathermy treatments, you do need to make sure that whoever you go to, if they're in mainland UK, it is regulated by the local authority, so they will need a license. So just simply ask to see that. Uh, and then, of course, you know that that person has been checked to, for their qualification. They've also would have been checked for their hygiene, um, sterility, cross-contamination, etc. If you would like to book an appointment with myself, I'm based out in Porthcourt, you can book online on the website below. Uh, you need a patch test two weeks prior, so you'd book your patch test in with me. When you come in, I'd fill in the medical questionnaire, treat a very small area, just to check that the skin heals okay following treatment. Providing everything's fine, two weeks later you can book in then for your first session. And obviously I can advise on costs, a number of sessions I think would be required once I've seen you in person. But if you would like to send me an email photograph just to get some kind of indication as to whether it is something that I can treat, then please feel free. Thank you very much for joining me today and I hope to see you on another video again soon.